Hello again and welcome to another episode of Rain Plays. Today we will be in the, oh boy, can't remember the neighborhood. Real quick though, I play Stardew Valley and I finally got my gigantic pumpkins. This is Riverside Roost, court, oh is it Courtyard Lane? Yeah, Riverside Roost and Courtyard Lane. Not my favorite house, but my favorite lot. I don't know why. I just think it's really, really cute. And it's got great views. Yes, they're right next door to the pancakes, but that's not an issue. I made sure that both houses had very few windows on their side so that they couldn't really see in. Not that it matters, I know, but that's the way I think. So I take you on a quick before tour like always, and then I rebuild it and we go on an after tour. Uh, not happy with the build though. Very disappointed with what I ended up doing. So I quit and not give up quit. Well, I guess you could say give up quit, but that's not in the negative sense. I just stopped myself and I figured if I took some time off, I might get my groove back. And I hope that doesn't sound too stupid. But what I mean is this was the most generic build that I have done so far, and it was very disappointing. So I just told myself, you have to stop because you're not doing what you want to do. Personally, I think I'm building for an audience that isn't even there. And it's dumb. It's very dumb. Why are those windows on the ground and the curtains are up? Why do people put windows on the ground if they're not going to be floor to ceiling? pick them up. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I haven't been on in a while. I just, I don't want to disappoint myself or a viewer. It's not that I'm not going to keep the viewer in mind. It's that I need to do what's pleasing to me. And I know that might sound selfish, but that's not the way it's intended. If I'm not happy with what I'm doing, then what is the point? That's what I'm trying to say. So I ordered some home plans, house plans, magazines online. I got three of them. Two of them are actually humongous catalogs. One is from Lowe's, I think 1994 edition, <laughs> but it doesn't matter regardless of when they were printed because all three of those things have the exact same houses in them. Contemporaries, colonials, salt boxes, uh, Georgians, and then the southern versions of those houses. Very few European designs. Well, there's Italianate and stuff like that, but it's the American version. So I was a little disappointed. When you order those types of things online, they don't give you too much of a description. But the best part about them was that they have floor plans with each of the builds, and um, that's what I needed. Personally, I think I'm best at exterior decorating and landscaping. But when it comes to putting the inside of a house together, the only thing is that I'm good at, per se, is, well, I know we need at least one bathroom, and I know we need at least two bedrooms, and there's definitely got to be a kitchen. And that's the extent of it. Where all that stuff goes, that's where I really fall apart. So having, you know, floor plan ideas at the ready, I think it's been a little bit of a help. But I'm still disappointed in the, the, the homes themselves. Everybody builds those in The Sims 4. Everybody knows how to do that. And everybody does. Even EA builds those types of homes. So as far as inspiration goes, it didn't help too much. But... Again, this turned out to be a house I, that I had no intention of building, and yet it turned out this way. And I was tired of disappointing myself this way, so I stopped. That's all I'm saying. I will get back into it soon. The weather has finally broke. No more of this tropical Miami weather. But it is still warm, just not as bad. 
I do have the fan on, but thankfully I finally figured out how to lower that sound in the background. So I hope it helps some. Now, I actually wrote down things that I can discuss here, believe it or not. And the first is, I got a Nintendo Switch. Ta-da! Finally. After months and months and months of trying to find one anywhere, I read an article not too long back. It's probably been maybe three or four weeks ago. And it said, your best bet is to go online after midnight on a Thursday. So that would be Thursday turning over to a Friday. And just type in Nintendo Switch and boom. And it worked. I got one at GameStop. I ordered it online and they delivered it to me within, I think, three or four days. I had it on me. So I also got Animal Crossing. I'm playing that. But that's kind of where I wanted to discuss things, if I can do it real quick. I know this is a long video and I don't want it to be too boring. I had no idea that you had to pay to go online and play with other players. Isn't that ridiculous? And it's, yes, okay, so it's quote unquote cheap. It depends on who you're talking to. I don't like to make blanket statements and I never like to assume. But to say $20 a year is cheap is relative. Who is it cheap for? Maybe for you, but not for me, or maybe for that person, but not for that person. The fact that you have to pay to play after spending over $300 on the system itself, and then they want $60 per game, I think that's a little bit selfish. I don't think it's right. But you have to buy a subscription in order to visit other people's islands. Unless you play local, and that means somebody else in your house has a switch and you want to play and visit their island. So again, you would need more than one switch in the house in order to do that. Now, since we only have the one, my daughter just ordered a light. She got a turquoise light. So until she gets that, she and I are sharing an island. So I can see her house, but I can't see her. I can go into her house, but she's not there, and then vice versa. And that's not fun. I want to be able to visit her own island. I want to be able to trade things with her. If I'm not mistaken, you get a better return on your items if you take them to somebody else's island. So I took the plunge, and I got their seven-day free trial online. And my niece gave me her dodo code. And I visited her last night. It was cute. <laughs> and my nieces are so much further advanced, of course, than I am. Because they had Animal Crossing from the start. So visiting their islands was so cute. It was fun. But that's the joy of the game, I think. So now I'm finally going to be able to do that. But it's upsetting that I have to pay $20 a year to do it. I... There's just something doesn't sound right about it, and I don't know what it is. It's not sour grapes. It's, I can't believe you're making me pay to play with somebody else. It's that. It just sounds odd. But it's a good game. It's a cute game. I knew it would be. It's a lot of fun. I'm probably going to delete everything that I've done thus far when my daughter gets her light and then we can start all over again together. But I don't care. I have no problem doing that, no matter how far along I am. As a matter of fact, going back to Stardew Valley, I do that all the time. I only ever make it through year four, and then I just start all over again. I think it has something to do with accumulating too much money and too many items, and it's not necessarily that it takes the fun out of the game, I said I want to challenge myself a little bit more, so I get back and I start again with my new knowledge, and I try something different. This time, I'm on my fifth time playing the game, and I switched it up, and instead of romancing Elliot, 
I've gone for Sebastian. And it feels unco it's so stupidly funny. I feel uncomfortable every time Elliot is around. <laughs> I feel like, oh dear, I betrayed him. I've gone for somebody else this time. Because I think I mentioned in my last video that the reason I always choose Elliot is because he is unattached. He has no interest in anybody in particular. He's always with Leah, but I think Leah is a lesbian. When you get far enough in your friendship with her, she gets a phone call from a woman who used to be her lover. And so I, I think that's why she and Elliot aren't, you know, Elliot's dying to be with her. The way Sam is with Penny and Penny is with Sam. And who else do we have? Of course, poor Clint dying to get with Emily. And then we have Alex and Haley. And who else is there? I don't remember. Oh, Sebastian was always interested in, what is her name with the purple hair? Amanda or something, I don't know. No, she likes Amethyst. Her name's not Emily. I don't know and I don't care. Wasting time here. I can't remember her name. But anyway, I thought I'd take a chance. <laughs> Where Sebastian and I are getting serious. He finally kissed my character. Oh, Star Wars. What do I think of the new Star Wars expansion pack? Do you really want to know the answer to that? I doubt it. Because I'm probably one of three people on planet Earth who have absolutely no interest in a franchise. None. As a matter of fact, I'm going to age myself here, but I think you guys already know that I'm old. When the first Star Wars movie came out, my boyfriend took me to the theater, and within 20 minutes, I was sound asleep. So this is the after tour. And again, disappointment, which is why everything looks very neutral. I was childishly fed up with everything that occurred, so I just slapped it together and said, I'm done. But I hope you like it anyway. It just, I wanted to give her that view, which is why it's so open there. But this is not what I wanted to build, and I'm very disappointed in it. Anyway, back to Star Wars. <laughs> kind of told you something like that and then just walked away. But it's true. I think within the first 20 minutes to a half hour of that movie, I was out like a light. It just had, I had no interest. Right? I, again, probably mentioned this in an earlier video. I am fascinated with astronomy and even to some extent, ast astrology, but not Hollywood's version of it. I, I don't go in for the goofy looking monsters and stupidity that they made everyone end up believing in. I, I don't believe that. I strongly believe that there's got to be at least a parallel universe. I'm not saying there is one. I'm saying that my thoughts on space lean more toward that. So, yeah, there could be other creatures out there somewhere. I'm not saying there wouldn't be. But it's not all creatures and we're the only people walking on two legs and having a brain. And No, no, I, I, I've never thought. If anything, there are probably more intelligent life out there and they don't have massive green heads and purple skin. That's all I'm saying. So Star Wars just turned me off from the get-go and I am not under any circumstances going to be buying the pack. I even saw their like decorating items and stuff and it looks like they mashed together Strangerville and Selva Dorada and said here's your new um, decorating items. Which again, very upsetting, but no surprise. So no, sorry. Star Wars is not for me. Now what else was there? 
I, I'm not even interested in that silly knitting pack. I bought it because some of the items are cute. And uh, kind of sentimental reasons. I That was the first online thing that I participated in. So I figured, well, you know, might as well take advantage of it. So I did. But that that's about it for that. I'm just... For me, it's a big disappointment that that's what they're giving us. But from what I understand, we have they have some contract with Disney. And I'm not a Disney fan either, so... Until 2023, we're going to have to put up with it, I guess. I don't know. Don't really care. So, <laughs> that's my... How much have we got to go here? Whoa, quite a bit. And I just ran through everything. I did get an Elgato capture card hoping I could play my Nintendo Switch on my computer screen because the screen is too small. When I read, my eyes cross. And so when I'm looking at a screen that small, my eyes cross. And within 10-15 minutes of playing that game, I can't see anymore. And I sit there blinking and blinking and blinking and everything's just foggy and fuzzy. It's no fun. I need it on a big screen. So my daughter set it up on the TV out in the living room for me. But I can't be out there all the time because my mother is. So I was hoping the Elgato would work when naturally we set it up and it doesn't work. And yes, I downloaded both sets of software for it. But it's muting the game and the game is going full screen. So I have no way of accessing the recording software while it's in full screen and I don't know how to unfull screen it and it, oh man was I upset. I was so upset you spend that kind of money on something and then it doesn't even work. That frosts me to no end. I was so ready to return it. My daughter's like calm down we'll figure it out. So what we're gonna try next is to install it on my old all-in-one PC and see if it doesn't work that way. But I was hoping to be able to record my episodes of Animal Crossing on this channel, but it's not looking like I'm being going to be able to so far. I have no idea how it works. And of course, you go online and you try to ask for help. I was so mean that I ended up clicking. Was this article helpful? No. Was this article helpful? No or even commenting on YouTube video, videos. Unhelpful. <laughs> That's mean, isn't it? <laughs> Shame on me. And I'm not being a troll. It, seriously, everything that you just told me makes no sense because that's not my problem. This is not, everything you said to do, I can't do. So how is this helpful? I don't have this button. I don't have this console. I don't have this command. I have no idea where this button is. Where are you coming up with the screen that says all you got to do is uh, click on mute and it's unmuted? Where's the screen? I don't have that on my computer. Annoying. Anyway, it does look like we are coming up on the end here. This is my exterior view. Look, the house isn't as bad as all that. It's just for me looking at it, this is a generic EA build. I was so fed up. I said, that's it. I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm not going to do this until I can get my act together. This was such a disappointment. That big house there is where we're going next. Hopefully I'll figure this out by then. But I would like to get this going. I hope you will like the video. I'm so happy that you came and visited me. I do hope you also have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.